The Rural Development and Land Reform Department has come up with a website on which farm owners would be able to make property available for reform purposes. The online portal would serve as the only way applicants could apply for property through government's land reform program. The department's Bongin Kosi Zulu explains how it would work. Um, we, we have developed the policy on beneficiary selection and land allocation. What we have done is now it has been presented and approved by cabinet for publication, for, uh, for publication and so that we can get public comments. And also we are finalizing the policy on, uh, uh, policy on land donations, which should then allow farmers who want to donate land for land reform purposes for various needs. Some of them obviously are farmers where they are farm dwellers, they are labor tenants, they want to donate the land to advance the land reform program. That system will also obviously, uh, we have created, we are going to create a, a land offer uh, system where the farmers will uh, uh, put their, farmer, their farms there on, the, on, the, on that particular system so that they can donate the land or even if when they want to sell, the land to the state for, for land reform purposes. The, we have put up pol policy proposals uh, in the document that we have published. Uh, as uh, the document is, is out for public comments, what we have done is we, we, we are also going to have another system, an online system, which will then those who qualify, then they will apply uh, through that online system. And also we will have help desk in all our district offices across the country where they will walk in there will be person dedicated or officials dedicated uh, sitting in those districts to help those application th those applicants but we've already defi we've defined the categories of, of 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 beneficiaries in the in the policy document the beneficiary selection and allocation policy document we have also defined the target groups and we have also uh, defined uh, or made proposals for the public to comment on who qualifies and who does not qualify and what are the conditions that will be put in place and what is the criteria, the selection criteria that uh, people will have to be assessed through, uh, which shall be a transparent and a very fair and, and legitimate process for beneficiary selection.